Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. The, uh, I ca I'm calling it the hatch update now. The ranching up upgrade, uh, Mark 1, because there's going to be a second part coming out in a few weeks. Actually, more than a few weeks. Um, I forget the exact amount of time, but it's coming up pretty soon. And in this episode, I've got lots of food, I've got a good surplus of food. I'm not sure how long this water is going to last in here. This is one of our sources of water. And off camera, be between the last episode and this episode, I went in here, put it in a pump for this other steam geyser. This cool steam vent. And I also analyzed it because it wasn't active at the time. But this thing doesn't erupt very often. So active period, 17 cycles every 38 cycles. So this is not super active. We'll want to get that water out of there anyway, though, and probably feed it into our main kind of water system. That's going to be a long pipe. Let's just see here. We could go down through here, or we could kind of go around along here. It has to come and match up with this pipe here. So yeah, I should probably set that up. Might as well do that now using abyssalite. Do priority seven, come along here. Hopefully I have enough abyssalite. We'll, we'll do it just to there for now. Might want to make a proper, kind of proper uh, floor here. So they can run a bit faster. Now I got a comment from uh, Life Groski, who's uh, a Twitch streamer, also has a YouTube channel, and he really uh, he's great at this game. He's he builds some pretty monster bases, awesome bases, and he was telling me not to use the super fast mode because it has some issue with calculations. Now I should have asked him what particular issues there are. I haven't noticed anything wonky when I've when I've used it. I thought I was seeing food go down faster than normal, but as it turns out, I don't think that was the case. So I'm not sure if I'll use it anymore. I respect his opinion, so but I also uh, just end up speeding things up in editing anyway, so I should probably do some experiments and find out what the exact uh, calculations that are off. Let's build some more snazzy suits here. So yeah, I want to get exosuits going this episode, I think. We uh, we have some fabricated here. I just have to set up the dock, so I might do that right here. So they can come through here, down and around, and then we'll cut off access so they can't slide down anymore. This might be a bit too high. Um, we could do it down here where it's warmer. Just think about this here. This might be a good spot right here. So yeah, come across, build a floor there. And head down. I wanna have room for it, so the, the later they change into the suits, the kind of more efficient, because it takes them time to get into the suits. So maybe something around here. How warm is it here? 50 degrees. Oops, I just did a dig command way over here. Okay. Let's plan this out here. How, how tall are these stations? Are they four or three? I can't remember. So suit dock. Only three high. So we could put them right here. And put a floor along here. Now I want to leave room for quite a few of them. 
So I'll put the ladder maybe right here. And then they'll come back around and kind of exit. Dig that out. Trap that, uh, trap that chlorine in there. Make that priority nine so they do it first. And granite on the way back out so they're nice and fast. And we'll need to bring filtered oxygen down. So where do we have a circuit that's not very busy? This one right here, 720. Oh, we got a mess of piping here, I forgot. <laughs> that is a mess. Um, hmm. Oh, we're not going fast speed. <laughs> we were only going medium, medium speed. Okay, that's why. So let me think about this. This is going to be oxygen coming back up. Maybe I'll come around the, kind of the side here and over. I think this is probably going to bother me some, for some quite some time. Maybe I'll just get rid of all this. This was to get rid of uh, chlorine earlier. But we still have chlorine building up once in a while, so... Maybe I'll come down along here. Let's get rid of that piece there. We're not using that anymore. I wish I could use the same pipe for both purposes, but we can't do that. So I'll bring the oxygen around like this. I'll use Abyss Light. Cross over here, maybe. is going to be messy. And straight down. And we'll put a few gas bridges along the way. In case we want to cross over at some point. So it's going to go right to there. But we need to uh, filter it first. So where was that power line I wanted to use? Down here. So right here, we'll send it through a filter first. Because there might be other stuff in here that we don't want. So gas filter. Now there are um, manual filters that you can use. I've never really used them. Nothing against them. They're fine. They take a little bit more effort to set up. They do save you some power, but I'm actually needing to use a bunch of power so I can get more uh, more polluted water. Okay, gas bridge. Stick that right here. So come along here. Filter out pure oxygen. This is going to need power. And then we can put it straight in there after we select the filter. And we should probably deliver the exosuit. Let's check our jobs as well. Everyone has been promoted. Oh, Bear can be promoted. Let's get him on Seasoned Rancher. Gonna put in some more power here. Um, instead of using coal in a circuit that we have over here, I'm gonna try to use our natural gas, our main power supply instead. Gonna use a wire bridge here. That's all with wolframite. We don't want that. Um, iron should be good. 
continue this along here and just go directly in. That way we can not re we don't have to rely on this coal. So once that's all built, I'll uh, kind of disable this. We'll leave it as backup. And I think it's safe to hook this up now. This may starve the base of oxygen a little bit. This uh, this thing. Actually, we kind of need this power for the uh, for all this stuff down here. Hmm. I could put in another circuit. So this pump is working away here. This is not doing a whole lot. It's moving CO2 down. It was to get rid of this chlorine, but it just, it's really stubborn, the chlorine. We almost need uh, just to super pressurize the base with oxygen, and that would kind of force it down. Let's turn this back off. Oops. Had the pipe selected. Okay, turn that off. I was messing around with priorities too, but didn't really work out. I tried advanced mode, this thing in here. Didn't really do what I was looking for. My oxygen is getting really low. Probably can't reach this one piece. Go down through there, down through there. Yeah, this thing's gonna eat up a bunch of the oxygen. Kind of steal it from the base. What priority is that? Seven. Let's just get that finished. And our mushroom farm, how's that doing? It needs slime. We were strip mining slime up here. We'll continue doing that. Probably get in there, get some more. Maybe start here as well. Good old slime and algae. Full of germs. But as long as we go fairly slow, it should be okay. Because it'll end up here and down in our mushrooms. But they really don't want to build this. It says it's unreachable. Oh yeah, that ladder's not... That ladder's not tall enough. Let's just remove this tile for now. Then they can build it and we'll stick it back. Come on, build it. There they go. Okay, there we go. So oxygen's heading down to that uh, exosuit dock. That's gonna really starve the base, but we can, we got backup that algae deoxidizers, and I think we have some algae left. Six tons, yeah, we're good. We can always dig it a bit more here. Oh, we got slime bubbling away there. I think this, this container here is for slime. Organic. Slime. Let's do that priority nine. I kind of want to let all this gas fall down, but for now, it's it's okay if it's stuck in there. Okay, now we need power for all these docks. Uh, actually, we got coal. We got coal set up here. Let's remove this regular battery. Put in a smart battery. We love smart batteries. Like so. And then lead a line down here. B. 
be easier just to move the coal generator down. Cancel that. Deconstruct that. Might as well make it localized. Instead of just wasting all that metal. We could put it right here, actually. Gold generator. Perfect. Gold. And then a uh, smart battery. Connect those up. Iron. And automation. Like so. Okay, I'll put a few more uh, stations in because one is probably not enough. Let's do... Uh, Let's do three. Three more. And then a checkpoint. I think we want it that way. I always get confused by this thing. And hook up the rest of that power. And once that's in, they should be, they shouldn't be allowed to come past here. There they go. Wearing their suits. Nice. Perfect. Hook up the rest of that oxygen. Now I might not just do the, oh, I guess I can do the rest up the rest of that gas. I'm going to branch it like this so it gets kind of even equal amounts. It's looking pretty good, I think. Oh yeah, this coal power can disable it now because we're now connected to the natural gas circuit no we're not we will be That'll use this power a bit more frequently, which is what we want, because we got lots of pressure building up in here. Five kilograms. Now I want to be able to use some of this polluted water for uh, oxygen generation. Because this is running a bit low. And how did they do with that pipe? Did they finish that pipe? It's getting hot and steamy in here. It's active though. Okay, let's check out that pipe. It's set up all the way along here. Let's keep bringing it along. Abyss light, because it's going to be really hot. Priority 9 is probably a bit too high. Let's just do it at 7. Bring that along here, and then merge here. And we'll put a bridge right here just to force the direction and allow for any... Uh, upgrades and there's no power for this thing so we might as well use coal because it's not it's going to be pretty intermittent stick that up here actually it could go down here how hot is it there it's 51 let's just stick it up here Another smart battery. Leave room for a Weezwort. And a logic circuit. 
Automation wire. And then we'll set this battery to 50%. I should probably put some automation in here as well so that it only pumps when there's enough pressure. Okay, we'll set this to 50% for active. 51's fine. Might as well dig this out, make it a little bit more headroom. Here comes that water. 71 degrees. That'll just merge in there and head off to our oxygen making. So that'll relieve a bit of pressure off this system here. And now that we have the exosuit dock in, let's deliver those exosuits. Bump up the priority a bit. And now we can start digging down in here without worry of being fried. And I do want to start digging in here. I want to release all these little sticksters. These guys are all messed up down here. Let's just head right down and start digging. Let's use igneous rock because there's going to be a lot of igneous rock down here already. Go all the way down there. We'll get all this diamond. Dig across. Liberate these slicksters. Start exploring this way. Probably should have built my exosuit dock a bit earlier, but it's okay. Head this way too. What is he doing? Dude, what are you doing? What is he doing? <laughs> He's phantom digging. Christian, wake up. Move here. There he, oh, what is he doing? Is he trapped? I think he's messed up. Christian. Is he idle? No. Is he trapped? Shouldn't be. That's not in the way. What? Why is he sleeping here? Uh, he's, got, he's got enough oxygen though. He'll be fine. You should be able to walk over that tile though. Hmm. Maybe not enough oxygen? I'm not sure. Let's see what happens when he wakes up. There he goes. Oh. Okay. Okay, I guess it was that tile. Weird. Okay, we need more oxygen generation because that, that, uh, those suits are just stealing all our oxygen. How are we for algae? Six tons. I might want to double up this system in here. Hopefully we have enough fresh water to do that. Now I built this last episode. So if you want to know how to build this, it's not very complicated. It's just a couple of pumps, uh, a filter. I'll probably just duplicate it. Maybe, maybe down here. Don't have quite enough room. I should have left myself a little bit more room. Or we could put it right here. Actually, it's probably easier to put right here. Okay, so we'll put Gas pump, gold, just do a mirror image, and we want electrolyzer, put this one centered this time, I wanted this one to be centered, but we'll send a pipe, a bisolite, into that, and we need power. I'm using heavy watt wire here because it's just kind of a big macro circuit. Oh, that's going to fry it though. 
Don't have enough power for all that, I don't think. We might be okay. We're using heavy watt wires, so it's not going to blow the circuit. And then we need a filter. Now the gas filters, I think they have a capacity of only 500 gram packets. Is that right? It's 500 or 1,000? 1,000. So you can, you can pump two pumps into one filter. Stick that right here. Send these down into here. Hydrogen will come be filtered out and go there. And we want a separate, entire separate line for the oxygen. Now I messed all this up. So we can just go through the floor here, or should I do it side by side? Let me think here. This bend is really kind of in the way. Hmm. I think I'll move this hydrogen line so we can have a nice straight pipe. So what we'll do is come around, just go straight through like that, and then get rid of get rid of this pipe here. And then we can send this oxygen straight through and the next oxygen straight through. And we'll use a bridge here just in case we want to expand in the future. Cut up, deconstruct. Let's wait till they finish the hydrogen first. Let's just do priority nine there. This is all melting and getting in the way. <laughs> Filter out hydrogen, hook up the power. And let's straighten out these pipes. So let's remove that one, remove that one. And then this one can come straight through here and this one can come straight through here. Nice straight lines. Let's put another bridge somewhere along here, maybe right here. And that will send in there, there. That should be good for now. Put some vents in. Nice Cool oxygen for the base. Should have put a bridge here. Why didn't I? There we go. And I should have put one here, but whatever. This is a mess here. <laughs> If we get enough oxygen pressurized in the base, this chlorine should make its way down. And these slicksters should be eating all the CO2. Oh, they're still digging away down here, getting all that delicious, delicious diamond. Diamond is delicious, right? Oh, we got water in here. Let's dig that out so it's not sticking to the ceiling. Are these guys making oil? Yep, perfect. Now these guys are wild. It says they're hungry, but I think it says they're always hungry. I think I read that they're, you can feed them in lots of over, oh, we got overheated. What's going on here? Tiny battery, oh, that's kinda out of the way. That's not ours. 
So I'll skip ahead, let them kind of dig all this out. And of course someone got stuck. Farid fell down here, got stuck. But he's got oxygen in his suit, so hopefully they'll be able to dig him out in time. Could build him a ladder too. That would probably be quicker. The night is coming. Hmm. Is he incapable of digging? Digging, 13. Why isn't he digging? So strange. Come on, you can dig. I know you can. Maybe he doesn't have the uh, ability to dig hard stuff. It's okay, he's gonna get out of there. Any second now. As long as it doesn't become nighttime. Come on. Okay, you can build your way up. Oh, here they come. Never mind. It's all good. Go eat. So we need, uh, need some mesh tile here. Get over here. Keep going left. See what's over here. They won't be able to get up there. So we'll come down here. Dig across. Keep going. Okay, I'm going to put some uh, polluted ice in here. For no particular reason. Copy those settings. Maybe set it at 6. That way it'll put it here, it'll eventually melt, cool this down. There's no real point because it's gonna, we're gonna filter it at some point. But it should keep this area cool. And there's something else I wanted to do here. Oh yeah, I don't want the dupes going in here anymore. So we're gonna do some shipping here. Do an auto sweeper. So we can reach all of that fertilizer. I think that should do it right in the center. That's the theory. If I built that correctly. What's it complaining about? Mechatronic engineers. We don't have any, really? Hmm. Thought I had one. Okay, let's start training uh, Michael. He cannot be one. Okay. Uh, Fareed. Let's just get you doing that right away. Who else can be one? No one. Okay, we need some, so we need some general engineers here. Uh, bear? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta level some people up in... Oh, let Andy can be promoted. So we'll get Andy in that, and then we'll get him in general engineer. And then we can get him into mechatronics. So we'll, we'll grab the fertilizer and we'll ship it out of here so they don't have to go in here anymore. So I'm going right down to the bottom here, at least to here, and that's where I'm going to put my uh, pump to get all this oil out of here, because we're eventually going to start using that oil, making plastic and stuff. Now here we can use igneous rock up to a certain point, and we're going to need power down there. Now we have enough power, only 600 watts here. Actually, this thing is a little bit overtaxed. We could put another uh, carbon, another coal generator down here. Might be a bit overkill, but we can at least build the pipe. Oh, I already did build the pipe just now, yeah. Build the power. Bring it up to here. I'm not sure exactly where I'll put the hook it up, but we'll get it. We'll get it built at least. Now I put a pump here. Uh, I'm going to clear this out, so it should drain out a little bit. And this pump is to get the little bits of water and polluted water that are in there. 
These guys are stuck again. Dig that out. And I should probably start planning out my um, oil refinery. Might stick it in here. Seems like a good place. It can be it can be igneous rock, that's fine. So we'll build a room in here. Yeah, it should be fine. If I stick it right here. It doesn't really have to be that big, but we'll just dig in there. Get this all ready. Now it has to be a sealed room, because natural gas will come out of the uh, oil refinery. I might as well put that in there, rough it out. Might want to do a liquid lock here, because they're going to be going in and out a lot. So stick that there for now. And we'll plan a liquid lock here. Something right like that. Right here. So we're gonna need a bottle emptier. And we'll put a little drop of oil in first and then put a drop of water in. Oil first. Someone will do it. <laughs> Hopefully they can use this pump here. It might be too low. This guy's stuck? Oh yeah, he's totally stuck. Uh, igneous rock. Priority 9, so we can get out of there. I'll probably skip ahead again, just because it's going to take them a little while to finish this. Holy, food is at 700,000. How are we doing for dirt? 13 tons, we're getting low on dirt. We need to keep digging out that slime. I'll want to automate the slime eventually, but for now we'll just keep digging it out. Whoa. Yeah, we'll just strip mine out of here. Get some algae in the process. It's nice and cold in the base, probably too cold. Probably don't need this weaselwort here, we'll uproot it. Okay, I'm sealing, sealing up this area here, because we don't want all this oxygen flying out of the base up to here. I want to keep the base nice and pressurized. So put an airlock here, that'll be the one way out of here. This uh, airflow tile is not really doing much for us. Dig this out, get rid of this. That should pressurize. Dig that out. Don't need this ladder. Don't need that ladder. Got slime everywhere, that's not good. Hopefully they'll deal with it pretty soon. There they go. Our mushrooms are hungry, so it should work out. Okay, that's sealed. This is where all our hydrogen goes, so that's okay. Oh yeah, that's nice and pressurized. Now that we have two lines of oxygen coming in, it's working well. Now how's the temperature? 
getting a little bit warm. I think what I might want to do is initiate, like, hook this one up. Let's dig that sucker out. And we'll just send hydrogen to it. We won't necessarily use it yet, but that'll just cool down this whole area. Could also use some... Uh, thermo shift plates along here to spread this uh, coolness. So under utility... Temp shift, and we do have some diamond now, so... I think I'll just do it across like this. Just one line for now. That's a lot of diamond. That'll take them a while to build because they're 800 kilograms each. And I should really seal this up here. But it's not too bad. Maybe I will bring that. Maybe I'll take that tile out. It's kind of bugging me. So I'll take that out. We'll seal it with a heavy watt plate. There we go. Heavy watt joint plate. There. So that'll be sealed. This is actually granite. We want to keep all that cold in there. So I'll replace that with abyssalite. They're all freezing in there. I can use a lot more drainage and I'm going to build a floor up top here. I'll just use granite along here. And leave one mesh tile here, 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 just for drainage. Dig all this out and dig out a thing there so it can all flow down. In fact, we might as well just go all the way for good airflow there. Any germs in there? Nope, that's good. We got one other small problem here. This is getting really hot in here. So I'm gonna put an abyssalite tile along along here. So we need a ladder for that. We'll go up to here. And we'll do We actually have to dig in there. And then I'll put uh abyssalite along top. So I might as well just do a regular, well, that's priority nine, a regular floor along here. Dig this out. And then put a abyssalite ceiling here and cap this off. Because this, all this heat is just leaking out. Not good. Now it's going to leak out here. Doesn't need to though. We could seal this up. Hopefully this tile doesn't break right here. I don't think it will. There's not much water in there. 105 degrees in there. Yikes. We do have some spare wheeze warts, so let's let's bring them over. Stick them in there, start cooling all that down. So abyssalite, priority eight, right along here, up there. Do that first. These worked, yes. That should help things a bit. While we're here, might as well dig this out. OK, 
Okay, that's unreachable. Oh, that'll be reachable in a second. Once they take that out. That water is running pretty low, though. <laughs> Might need to start filtering a bit of this. I kind of want to... I kind of want to be using more power so that we generate more polluted water so we can generate more clean water because natural gas in essence through some transformations is oxygen because the nat gas can go to polluted water it can go to fresh water I was thinking of maybe doing an aqua tuner in here if we get enough polluted water and the aqua tuner would heat up this polluted water which we would then destroy in uh, in the fertilizer makers or um, in a filter so does that make any sense yeah so we would send it to a sieve it would pop out 40 degree clean water which we would send through the aqua tuner but I don't know if we have enough uh, polluted water to do all that we could branch off here though and build a fresh water thingy uh, let's see here refinement water sieve we could stick a water sieve right here Grab some of that polluted water. Put it into a valve. Should I build this one over? Into a valve. Just so I can control how much goes through and then out of there, into there, and we'll just connect directly into this. So that'll add to our freshwater supply. But later on, I might want to send this through an aqua tuner to get cold water for all this uh, bristle blossom, which, which, which we could switch to a hydroponics, save them doing all this manual watering. Because they're going down here for the water right now, which is kind of running out. We'll put that up a bit so that it fills up faster. Not the best setup, though. An aqua tuner would be way better because that would bring 40 degree filtered water down. Oh, we need power for this. Do we have spare power on this line? 840. Yep, we can do that. Yeah, so take the output of this, put it through the aqua tuner, and then send it off to hydroponic plants here. Kind of fine for food now, though. We could take on more dupes. Let's see who we have here. Flatulent, irritable bowel, unconstructive. <laughs> irritable bowel, irritable, irritable bowel, I don't mind that much. Flatulent, I don't like. Not being able to build. Not the end of the world. Let's take on auto. And we got a list of names here. So let's go with the next person on the list. Which I think is the head. I got a big list I'm working my way through here. If I mess anyone's name up, let me know. Let's 
see if we have uh yeah we got andy in there let's assign a job to the head what a great name we'll just start at the top and move our way across stinky's about to level oh a bunch of people are Okay, is this thing running? Yep. I should probably put a pressure valve, a pressure sensor here. So if the polluted water drops too low, we stop making fresh water. Kind of need a uh, compost here. Let's do a compost right... Oh, you just picked it up. <laughs> Where is he taking it? There it is, right here. Nice, uh, look at that temperature barrier. <laughs> is this abyssalite? Yep, good. It's working. Okay, we never finished this little piece here. We gotta do that. And hopefully these guys can kind of cool down the surrounding area. Okay, so we got that dribble of uh, crude oil in there. And we got a little bit of water in there. So I'll disable this pump. I'll just leave it there in case we ever need it. Disable that building. And I'm not even going to mop up in here. Because uh, it'll act as cooling having this kind of water on the ground. We are gonna need power though. I don't wanna use this power, so I'll probably build a new power setup to the right here. And let's use iron. Dig this out. And this is going to be coal power, so we want the CO2 just to flow down. I feel like I'm building a lot of coal power. <laughs> we got lots of coal, though. Seems like a good use of the coal that all our hatches are making. I haven't looked at our hatches in a while. Hopefully they're doing okay. Okay, and then we can hook up the power to this thing. Now that our liquid lock is in there and seems to be working. So that power will power the pump and this thing, the oil refinery. So that'll get natural gas building up in there, which is fine. But we need to send the petroleum somewhere. Hmm. Let's just disable this. Oh, it won't even work until uh, until we're ready. So we'll build a second floor here. I put some plastic makers up here. Not quite sure what I want to do in here. We have natural gas in there. What do we do? That's all hooked up. Yeah, let's disable this for now. I could put the plastic maker right here. Okay, we finally got a, a someone who can build these conveyor thingies, so I'm gonna put a conveyor loader right here. Sure, like that. And then we're gonna ship this stuff out of here. Conveyor rail, let's use iron. Might as well just send it along here. This 
is just fertilizer, so... I just want to get it out of there. It doesn't have to come very far out. And then it can be a receptacle. Okay, for now, I'll just stick it over here. They can run over and get that. Oops. So I'll stick it in there for now. We're missing some tiles here. Put those back in. And we'll select... Oh, actually, how much power does this need? Another 120 watts. We're going to need more power over here. But for now, I think I can get away with doing that. Maybe it's probably going to overload. Because we got... Uh, that's going to bump it over a thousand. Those are always running. That might run intermittently. Hmm. We actually need more power. New duplicates available. Okay, so we got this. I split the circuit. So this coal is feeding this top circuit. And the natural gas line. Oh, I have to disconnect this one. And the bottom circuit is the f four fertilizer makers and some other stuff in here. So I just need to select a fertilizer. And there it goes. Shipping out the fertilizer. Nice. Now it'll just get queued up here. In this uh, conveyor receptacle. And they can run in here and get it. What I should do is probably just carry this along all the way to our growing room. I can do that next episode. I want to switch this over to hydroponics. We need more slime. But food's not a big priority right now. we got to actually eat through all this food. And we were getting our natural gas set up down here. I kind of want to finish that before the episode's over. So... Just should I do it now? Hmm. I don't think it'll take very long. So let's just do it. Refinement, polymer press, gold. I'll stick it right here. There's some water here already on the ground. Power. Piping. So crude oil. In, petroleum out, and we're going to have CO2 coming out, very hot CO2 of this thing, so we'll send that down and just merge right here. Okay, so we got it working, just enable it here, it's pretty hot in here, speed things up. Pretty hot in here, so I put some wheeze warts in here. Try to cool things down. We don't want the plastic sitting here too long. Or it will melt. So I put a storage container here, priority 9 for now. We'll, we'll want to automate this with a... Uh, with a shipping thing. Uh, auto sweeper and whatnot. But for now, it's working. It's set up. I think I'll end the episode here. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.